Hi and welcome to the uh, quick start setup guide for setting up your camera. This is all the components you should have with your camera and you should find all these in the box that came with it. You should have the power supply, the stand, the camera, the wireless adapter, the ethernet cable and also you'll have some screws which will allow you to connect the stand to the wall. This is the software CD that also comes in the pack and contains all the software required for you to connect the camera to your system. First of all we'll start by connecting the power adapter to the wall and we'll also connect the other end into the back of the camera like so. You'll see that it's clearly marked with the power indicator symbol. We'll then take the wireless adapter and screw it on clockwise which will also allow us to connect the camera wirelessly later on. And at the ethernet cable we will connect like so by just pushing it in gently and this will allow us then to connect the camera to our router and allow us to connect the camera using the software provided. The stand, which can be easily screwed on to the camera like so, will allow us to connect it to a wall if necessary later on and uh, can also be used to help support the product. But for this instance we'll just remove it as it's not required. Once all done, we will then load all the software onto the laptop and this will allow us to connect the camera to the system. OK, so we've got the software loaded into the computer and what you'll need to run is the setup. Once you run the setup, it will guide you through a number of sequences which you just basically need to click next on unless you need to change anything in particular. Once installed, it will create an icon on your desktop. Once the software is installed, you will then need to run the software which will then allow you to find the camera on your network. This is called the search software. Once the software is loaded onto the computer, you will then be able to hit the search option which will find the camera and it will be detected in the list on the bottom left hand side. You can see from this display that there's one listed in the list with a number of zero and um, that is the camera we wish to use. We will then select an IP address for the camera. In this case we're going to select the IP address 99 as there's nothing else using that on our system. We will then update the device by hitting the apply button and it will restart. Once the device has restarted, uh, you will then be able to find it on your network and you can open up your web browser by typing in that IP address and it will load the camera page for you. Uh, that's the quick start setup guide for the camera. If you get any problems, just visit our website or give us a call.